The white media doesn't show black people interacting with one another for the sake of benefiting other black people. They want to teach you that, oh, black folks just can't get it together. And some of you have hid behind that lie. Oh, there are examples of black people who do indeed manage to work for the good of the collective. But the problem is you got a lot of black folks who are desperate not to be part of that. It's like Sodom and Gomorrah. They're turning around to the burning city because as far as they're concerned, the responsibilities of black empowerment, well, that's too inconvenient. It's not desirable enough. The white media has come up with a number of templates, and it's deliberate templates that are meant to reinforce black dysfunction. Black children watch these white media generated lies. The white media tells them that this is a colorblind society, so it's okay for you to be someone's sidekick. But as soon as the black child decides that his white pals should follow his instructions, all of a sudden the society puts him in his place real quick. They show him, uh, ain't no colorblind anything. Well, what does colorblind mean under the white media? What colorblind means is the dominant society will not remind you that you're black until you try to exercise power. That's what colorblind means. We'll go ahead and we're not going to call you a nigger to your face. And why? When we're in front of you, we'll tell you that we're all just people. That is, until you call yourself trying to call any shots. Then all of a sudden, hey, nigger, you, you black people sure are uppity, you know. All of a sudden, they'll remind you, oh, we see what color you are. 